Hello, my name's Laurie Tullock and I'm going to be taking you through a guide to the A-Level Film Studies course. This is a course in which you will study and write at great length about Hollywood, independent British film, experimental film, global film documentary, silent cinema. All these will be studied in great detail. It's not an easy option. If you're interested in film and you enjoy it, this is the subject for you but you do need to work at it. So in this short uh, presentation, I'll be telling you why you should study film, or what sort of person we want, what you're gonna study, how you're gonna be assessed, and what careers you could potentially follow. So hopefully you choose film because you love film. And I don't mean just sort of Marvel blockbusters, superhero, no. You're gonna be studying all sorts of film out there. You're going to look at what the famous directors have studied and what their philosophy is and hopefully appreciate the points they're making and how they can potentially change your outlook on the world. So hopefully one of the reasons you're studying film is because you want to study it in more depth. You're going to have to write about it. You're going to have to talk about it. You'll become a knowledgeable critic of film. You'll have to be good at discussing it and analysing it. It's not for people who want to just sit at the back and have an easy option. You will not enjoy the course if you're like that. You might want to do this at university, you might not want to, but it doesn't really matter. It's a self-contained A-level in itself. But if it leads you to study this at greater length, brilliant. We've had students that have done this in the past and gone on to university to study it. You might also want a career in film or the creative industry. Well, this is essential in that case. So in the first year, we go with um, Blade Runner and Vertigo. So that's Alfred Hitchcock and Ridley Scott, two auteurs of their generation and looking at their techniques and their styles of filmmaking. We'll also look at a low budget magic realism film, Beast of the Southern Wild. And then we move on to Train Spotting, set in the mid eighties, drug culture, uh, dropout generation, um, filmed in the early 90s, a cult classic of British filmmaking. Also based in Scotland is Under the Skin, Jonathan Glazer, low budget science fiction, but starring Scarlett Johansson, a Hollywood A-lister. Interesting process as to how uh, they got to work on this, largely through improvisational technique, um, but a very interesting film. And we'll be looking at the ideology and the narrative in both train spotting and Under the Skin. We then move on to Pan's Labyrinth, Guillermo del Toro, Oscar winning director, looking at his style of filmmaking. How he combines the Spanish Civil War with magic realism. So that's what we do in the first year. Quite a demanding year. You'll be looking at films around those films and you'll be writing about them at great length. You'll also do a non-exam assessment. In the first year, you've got the option of either making a film or writing a screenplay to a film. So you've got to be creative. You have to create a storyboard and evaluate. That's in November, December. In the second year, November, December, you'll be doing a 1600 to 1800, a longer either screenplay or film. You can do screenplay for both non-exam assessments if you wish, or make a film. You will also be required to make a storyboard and evaluate it. Now, a 1600 to 1800 word screenplay is probably around about 10 minutes. So they're both relatively short films. The second year will involve Timbuktu, a global film um, made in Mali, Africa, by um, Sizako. Um, and um, really not the sort of film you're going to see in mainstream cinema, but worthy of study. No Country for Old Men. Uh, once again, a US mainstream classic film. We'll be looking at passive and active viewing. If you don't know what they are yet, um, you certainly will. But we're looking at the realm of spectatorship in terms of film. Um, we'll also look at Amy, which is a digitally shot documentary rather than analog and looking at what progress has been made in digital photography and how it impacts documentary making. We'll also be looking at the work of Kim Longinotto and Nick Broomfield, 
a couple of other British filmmakers, as well as the workers of um, Asif Kapadia with Amy. Uh, Buster Keaton, um, director, producer, stuntman, uh, amazing sort of filmmaker of the 1930s, looking at his silent films, will be focusing on five of his major silent film classics. And finally, we end up with Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction, experimental filmmaker. Uh, we're looking at how he constructs a multi-strand narrative and what makes him a postmodern director and how he changed the face of the film industry. OK, so that's the films we'll be studying over two years. You'll be assessed by formal assessment every six weeks. You'll have a, a mock exam in January and a non-exam, as you saw already, in both years. So you'll be in plenty of assessment. You will get an exam after the first year because we do it as an AS course. And in the second year, you get examined on everything you've done over the two years. Finally, career paths. Well, a film A level can be one of your three A levels to get you to university, but it can also be a stepping stone if you want to work in the film industry. You may find that it's increasingly interesting. There are so many jobs within the industry. Obviously, director, producer, writer, camera person, these are all possibilities, but you have to be proactive. You know, it's one of the main things is to have an interest in film, obviously, um, but this will be no means a passport into that industry. But just bear in mind, that if you study this at university, you will meet people on that course that can help you um, move in the right direction. As if you're an aspiring actor, you'll also need to know about film and how they're made and what the process is. Um, you might want to go into film promotion and marketing. There is a burgeoning film industry in Cardiff and quite small scale filmmaking in Bristol. There are a couple of film companies. There's also the BBC, which offers apprenticeships. Uh, critic or journalist, you might want to work in the film industry as a critic or in the publishing, sorry, the journalist industry, um, writing uh, film reviews. It's a possibility. I can point you in the right direction. Um, there are hundreds of jobs, continuity, runner, gaffer within the film industry, which I can help you, um, you know, look up and pursue. So these are all possible careers, um, but you have to be very proactive about those. A, f a film A level on its own is a very interesting path to follow and it could lead to all sorts of avenues. So hopefully that answers your questions. If you've got any uh, questions for me afterwards, I'll be around to answer you, uh, any, any questions you might have and hopefully um, point in the right direction. Thank you very much.